Now, our motor determined Ix. So, how can we determine Ix? If you see very carefully, these two, 2 and 8 are series. So, combination of these two that is 10 ohm. 10 ohm and 10 ohm also parallel. So, you can make combination of these two that is how much 5 ohm. After that, I know that using here source transformation. What about source transformation? Voltage and resistance given like that one. Here A and here B, that is voltage V. If this one is converted into current source, then you make resistance R and current source represent like that one. And I is V by R. And that is A terminal and that is B terminal. Clear or not? Okay. Using source transformation here, how can convert? This one is converted. Here apply source transformation. Okay. Then we got 12 divided by 1. 12 divided by 1, that is how much? 12 ampere. So here 12 ampere. And what about resistance? That is 1 ohm. Okay, clear or not? After that, that is 3 ohm. This one is con connect here. That is 3 ohm. And how much current? Ix. And what about current? That is 12 ampere. Okay. 1 and 5, that is 6 ohm. So, this one is make, that is 6 ohm. Clear or not? After that, that one this one and this one are parallel okay so 6 into 1 divided by 7 so 6 by 7 that one 6 by 7 ohm and that resistance 3 ohm ix and that is 12 ampere apply current division rule here apply current division rule so what about Ix? Ix is written as twelve plus twelve in into into six by seven whole divided by six by seven plus how much three ohm? So twelve into six divided by six plus. 21 so 12 into 6 divided by that is 27 after that if divided by 3 3 2 just 6 9 so 3 3 ja and 3 4 ja so 8 by 3 ampere is the right answer so ix is how much 8 by 3 ampere 